Hi everyone and welcome to your channel. We all know about stable diffusion and its magic. Stable diffusion in very simple words converts your words into pictures using AI. Stable diffusion is a model that generates images from text descriptions. Stable diffusion starts with a random noise image then through multiple refinement steps it transforms the noise into the desired image. This process is guided by your text description which tells the model what to generate. There are a lot of tools out there which enable you to use many many variants of stable diffusion models. We already have covered a lot of those tools on our channel such as Comfy UI, Automatic 1111 and the list goes on and on and on. There are heaps of tools. Each tool has its advantages, disadvantages. Some of them are easy, some of them are for beginners, some of them are quite advanced and some of them let you do multiple things at the same time. If you try to get inst uh, these things installed separately, it becomes quite cumbersome, not always. So if you are looking for a tool which would enable you to install or manage all of these or most of these stable diffusion tools at one place, then maybe have a look at this open source tool called as Stability Metrics. Stability Metrics is quite an interesting tool. It is simply um, a multi-platform package manager for stable diffusion. That's all it is. With the help of this stability metrics, you can install Comfy UI, you can install Automatic 1111, you can install Focus, you can install Volta ML, Invoke AI, STFX, One Trainer, and the list goes on and on and on. It also manages plugins and extensions for supported package. It also enables you to easily install or update Python dependencies for each package. So in this video, we are going to install this stability matrix and we will see how it works. Plus, just as an example, I will also show you how you can install Automatic 11.11 with the help of stability matrix. Automatic 11.11 is another very simple tool that enables you to generate text from images by using stable diffusion models. Automatic 11.11 is geared towards the people who are just entering into this field and all they want to do is to generate images from text. It is a simple graphical user interface or GUI for running stable diffusions. And it on simply runs in your browser and gives you a very simple user friendly interface. Okay, so let's get started and we will be installing this stability matrix and then we will go from there. Before I do that, allow me to give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, you will also get a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So please do check them out. So let's um, go and try this out. Another cool thing about this stability matrix is that not only you can install it on Linux, but also you can install it on Windows and also on Mac OS. It works everywhere. The instructions are identical everywhere because it runs in browser. So how do you do that? So go to the GitHub repo of the stability matrix and I will drop the link to it in video description and then just scroll down a bit. You will see that it is available for Windows 10, 11, Linux, Arch Linux, Mac OS. So if you are using for Windows, just right click and or maybe click and download the XE. I'm just going to download the Linux equivalent. So I'm going to click on Linux app image and you see it has started downloading the zip file. Let me go there in the zip folder. So this is a zip file which I have in the download. I'm just going to extract it here and you will do the same with your Windows stuff. Let's go into it and there we have our app image. So let's um, open it, open the terminal. So in my terminal, you can see that I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. Let's go to the download directory. 
where we have downloaded it let me do ls to see where exactly that is it is in stability one let's go into that folder let's clear the screen if you do ls dash ltr you will see we have our app image which is simple and exe file let's change the permission to executable that is only for linux you don't have to do it in windows that is done and now in order to run it dot slash then press enter here it is going to install it on your local system so let's wait for it that's all you need to do in order to install stability matrix there you go you see just click i have read and agree to the agreement pretend that i have read it also it is saying everything looks good let's click on continue and it is saying that what should be our data directory let's go with this default one and i'm just going to keep it here let's click on continue and then it is uh, saying don't share analytics i don't want to do that and then you see these are the all the stuff which you can install from here so for example it is just saying do you want to install comfy ui do you want to install this stable diffusion web ui forge and then stable diffusion web ui is uh, another name it's an older name for automatic triple one that was a username of the github owner of the github repo by the way and there you see there are a lot of other tools as i said if you just toggle it on it is going to show you a lot of packages so i'm just going to toggle it off and you can also skip it first time if you like so if i click here it is going to skip it now this is a black screen you want to add the package click on the add package and again you will be presented with the same screen okay so now we need to install the stable diffusion web ui or automatic 11 11 and you see that we have here just click on it and you will be presented with this screen where you can go with this version or if you want to install any other version you can do so too but i'm just going to select the latest one just give it any display name of your choice there are few advanced options which you can just ignore for now for example here pytorch you want if you don't have uh, gpu you can go with cpu or for amd you can go with uh, rockham but let's leave it and then uh, click on install here it is going to start installing it that is going to take uh, maybe a minute or so it's going to install prerequisites and stuff while that happens let me take you here and introduce you to the sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description let's go back to our stability matrix as you can see the matrix on the left hand side it is still installing so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long and you can see that now the automatic 11 11 is installed just click on launch here and it is going to launch it in your local browser so let's wait for it at the first launch it will download the default model which i think is st 1.5 so that you don't have to and then it is going to clone its repo and all that stuff so let's wait for it to get installed and these um, bit of a time which it is taking only for first time so you see that it is now downloading that st 1.5 model which comes with it it is just under 4 gig of size and the automatic 11 11 is installed you will get some warnings which you can ignore for now and again uh, in the future whenever you need to launch it again just click on launch and it will launch it so let me uh, minimize this window and you will see that it has already automatically opened it here and if i'm just going to cancel it let's see if i can use any black or dark background and i have set the dark theme in my browser and looks much better 
So first step you need to do is to just select your model from the top left, which says stable diffusion checkpoint here. Just click here, select the model which has been downloaded. It is giving uh, us an error. I think it didn't get downloaded properly, but that is fine. Uh, this tutorial is not about automatic 11.11. I have another one which you can check, but mainly this happens due to the missing uh, software like Xformers and the rest of it which you can check from here and you just need to download and install the proper libraries okay so that is and then there are a few other parameters like prompt and negative prompt and all that stuff which you can use but all in all you can see that this tool is really very handy for example if you want to install more tools just click on here and then you can just click on add package to add more packages here also you can have multiple models here you just click on model browser on the left hand side and it is going to show you which models are available you can even download these models from here there are a lot of them and be wary of it because there could be some nsfw data here so just make sure that you're aware of it and then you can manage your checkpoints from here for example this is uh, i believe the esr again is also one of the upscaler which is quite good i would say and there are some refiners some unit clip and all that stuff if you want to know what these are i have done another video on it as what exactly they mean in a very very simple way so but that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this stability matrix as i said i'm going to put the link to its repo in video's description so play around with it and let me know if you like it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching